Hello there, I am John Quote and welcome to my new walkthrough guide. It is a redo walkthrough guide of Pokemon Leaf Green. Yeah, I, I love Pokemon Leaf Green Fire Red. It's Pokemon Leaf Green is my favorite Pokemon game of all time. Just because it's a remake of the games that, of the two games that started it all. You know, Pokemon Red Blue and Yellow, I guess they're the three games that started it all. And I wanted to do a redo, um, basically because I honestly haven't started with Bulbasaur yet, and I've done Pokemon Fire Red as a Let's Live Stream series. I did Pokemon Leaf Green as a Walk the Guide back in like 2012. In 2014 or 2015, I started uh, Pokemon Fire Red, a Let's Live Stream series, and uh, yeah, it's just that there's my fire by the way. It's just that I really like this game, and I want to start off and just use all three starters. I used I used Charmander and Pokemon Leaf Green the first time. And then they used, um, for the walkthrough guide, I mean. And I used Squirtle and Pokemon Fire Red for my Let's Live Stream series. So now I'm gonna start with Bulbasaur. I'm gonna use a wholly diff- I'm gonna use a different team. And, yeah, this is just the controls. But yeah, I'm gonna be using a different team. It's Pokemon I've never even used on my other two save files. Or, you know, playthroughs of, you know, Fire Red and Leaf Green. So yeah. I'm not gonna read this, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's get started, though. So... I really like this game, it's my favorite Pokemon game. I'm ready to rock it once again. And hopefully you guys are here for the ride, I guess. <laughs> Hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak, but people affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by far is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people people Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Once again, I will be playing as the boy character, so I'm a boy. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm a boy. You don't need to ask me that. Let's begin with your name. What is it? Okay, so I'm just going to name myself Steven in all caps, basically. So, I'll just do that real quick. Put this in as fast as I can, really. Because I'm just ready to start my adventure yet again. So, wait, so your name is Steven. Shouldn't that be a question mark at the end? I don't know. Yes, that's correct, though. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both ba were babies. Mm, what's his name now? Let's name him Matt. Cause he'll be choosing the Trimander. Cause I'll be choosing Bulbasaur, and Matt would like use the Trimander. And like I use, I said I nickname I name my rival Sam in Pokemon Fire Red, cause that's a, the rival um, character chose Squirtle. So I'm gonna go with Matt this time again. I think I may have met, named my rival Matt in my original Pokemon Leaf Green Walk the Guide. Oh, was it Matt? Yes, okay. That's right, I remember now his name is Matt. Okay. Steven! <laughs> Your very own Pokemon Legend is about to unfold. I capitalized the letters in my name there because, like, everyone's name in this game is all cap, basically, so I wanted to keep it the same. Like, just same with doing Matt, too. Dreams and Adventures away. Let's go. <laughs> I think that's what it said. Let's go over to the PC and grab our potion. You know, trusty old potion. Nice. Hopefully, we won't have to use that in the battle against the rival. Yeah. Let's see, your mom, right? I'll always leave home someday. It's on TV. Oh, yes, Professor Oak, or Prof Oak, next door, was looking for you. And then we all can talk to the TV. Um, on my tablet, I have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A, and I have, um, uh, the, the Game Boy Advance simulator, the, um, Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance Boy, or if it's called, it's like a blue app looking thing, and it plays Game Boy Advance games and Game Boy Color games. No, I think it just plays Game Boy Advance games actually. But I, I, I fast forward it because there's a fast forward setting, and I was able to get through Pokemon Leaf Green within like two days, like the, with a whole thing from like right now to catching, you know, the Johto legendary dog. So yeah, and in this case, since I'm choosing Bulbasaur, it'll be Entei this time. So yeah, there's a movie on TV, Four Boys Are Walking On Railroad uh, Tracks, um, I better go too. Okay. So like I, I, I made some slight adjustments to like what my movesets will be in that run because I felt like more different moves would work better and stuff. But you know, hey wait, don't go out. <laughs> so I, I'm just hyped for this. I mean, I did another practice run through of this game and I just loved it. I'm ready to do it again for real, recording wise and recording it, so it's gonna be fun. I hope it's gonna be funny for you guys, I really do. It's unsafe, what Pokemon live in tall grass? You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here come with me. Okay. I 
Oh yeah, it walks for you. There we go. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Matt, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here's Steven. There are three Pokemon here. Ha ha ha. Or ha ha. The Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now in my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Matt. You can have one too. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to actually mess with the options here. So, attack speed fast, bell style, bell scene on, bell style shift, I guess, yeah, sound stereo, uh, button mode, um, L and R, I guess, and then the type of frame. I want to change that to green, actually, because the Pokemon leaf green. So, there we go. Nice. Awesome. So, I'll start over from, I'll go from right to left, I guess. So, Trimander, it's a really good Pokemon. I used it, you know, my original Walk the Guard, pretty awesome fire type. How oh, Trimander you ch is your choice, you should advise it patiently. So, Stephen, you're claiming the fire Pokemon Charmander? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, Squirtle, it's a really good water type. It's probably one of the best water types in the game. I like, enjoyed having a Blast Stories in my Pokemon when I did Fire Red. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna be choosing Squirtle either. So, uh, Squirtle. So, Steven, you decided to pick the web up on Squirtle? No. Yeah, okay. Here's Bulbasaur. I see Bulbasaur as your choice. It's very nice and very easy to raise. I think it just says very easy to raise because the first two gyms are, you know, weak to Bulbasaur, I guess you could say. Because it's a grass type. And the first the first gym is a rock type gym. And the second gym is a water type gym. So, you know. So, Steven, are you gonna go with the uh, grass Pokemon Bulbasaur? Yes, I will. This Pokemon is really quite en energetic. Yeah, we received the Bulbasaur from Prof. Okay. Do you want to give an nickname to this Bulbasaur? Yes, I do actually. Let's give it. I'm going to name it um, Giant Green. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't really. F I think this nickname. I'm happy with this nickname. It might be really silly, but. He's Giant? He's got to become a Giant Venusaur, and he's, gonna he's Green, I guess. I don't know. So I just want to name him Giant Green. It's going to take all characters, you know. We're going to nickname all my Pokemon in all caps, you know. Okay, I'll take this one then, and I always use the Charmander from Professor Oak, or Prof Oak. Cool. Okay, let's just get it out here, I don't wanna- Ah, oh, man. Okay, hey, wait, Steven, let's check out Pokemon, come on, I'll take you on. Okay. Fine. We'll do it. Let's go, Matt. <laughs> okay, Rival Matt would like to battle. He sent out Charmander. Here we go. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Steven, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. Against each, each other, yeah, there, yeah. So there, I said that right. The trainer that makes the other po trainer's Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you'll learn more from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so let's just go for the tackle. I guess I see I got a, a male. Uh, I got a male. Fucking damage on the foe is a key to any battle. I think I might have to actually use my potion, jeez. Because Charmander is getting to attack first and stuff. Yeah, I'm not doing as much damage as him. Oh, I did. I went first that time. Cool. Yeah, cool. I was able to not use my potion. Awesome. I was risking it there because the killer attacked first, but. We made it, we beat him. Yeah, we got 69 experience points, so Giant Green got 69 experience points. Cool. Now he's up to level 6. Uh, we defeated Matt, yay. What unbelievable, I picked the wrong Pokemon. Sure you did. Thanks for the $80. Or 80 cents, man. <laughs> okay, it's, it's actually a conversion to like yen, so it might not be like, you know, American's currency, where I think it's like every uh, actual Poké dollar in this game is a penny. But I, I just like saying it's like... A penny, you know, per um, actual poker dollar. So yeah, sorry if that's very confusing, but I don't know, I'm used to saying, oh, thanks for this amount of money and stuff. Hmm, excellent. If you win, you earn some prize money, and your Pokemon will grow. Battle each other Pokemon and make your Pokemon strong. Okay, I think our Pokemon get healed up after that, too. Okay, I'll make my I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. See you Gramps, smell you later. I don't like how you smell me, Matt, jeez. I don't like that at all. Skill. Ah, first one counter. Okay, cool. So, I think on this right, I can just find Rattas and Pidgeys, basically. So, yeah. Tackle, attack. Oh, this gives tail up. Okay. There we 
we go. Let's just tackle this thing. It's gonna use tail up again, which could be bad because it's now my Bulbasaur has minus two uh, defense now. But we took him out. We took out the Rattata, which is nice. Cool. We're gonna go to Viridian City, basically. <laughs> okay, hi. We get the bookmark. It's uh. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. We got potion, yay. Awesome. Let's move on. Oh, another wild counter. I think I missed I think this might be a Pidgey. No, I was, I was like I get fifty fifty chance here, but then like appearance rates I think are fifty and fifty actually for Pidgey and Rata. I'm not exactly sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's like split in half with that odds with those odds again with that tail whip you know awesome oh i should show the summary of my bulbasaur actually right after this battle i'll do that yeah i almost forgot i think this will get bulbasaur up to, or green giant up to level seven so that's awesome i think it'll own leech seed or something yeah leech seed cool nice Okay, let's read the, let's look at the summary, I guess. Summary. Okay, so the quirky nature. Um, Metapelotide on level 5, okay. Its attack is 13, defense is 12. Special attack is 16. Special defense is 14. Speed is 11. Now, I don't know what quirky nature does, but I do like having like the most special attack so far, so that's awesome. And then overgrows its ability, use up some grass type moves in pitch. I believe it's if it's missing one third of its if it has one third or less health, then its uh, grass type moves get a boost of like t uh, times two point five, I think. And then no tackle, growl, and leech seed. Now I went to leech seed at level seven, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Okay. And then no more wild Pokemon battle after that. Good. Okay. Now we're in Viridian City, which is awesome. Um, I'm not gonna actually go back to the Pokemon Center and heal because we can just use the ledges and we go back to it. But you, what you want to do is come to the Mart actually. Just walk right in, uh, try to buy some items, but you can't actually buy any items right now actually. So he's like, "Oh, you came from Bethlehem, right? You right? Uh, do you know you, you know Professor Oak, right? Um, he, his order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? We got the Oak's parcel. Cool. Nice. It's key. It's a key item, so that means it's very important actually. So good. Okay, thanks, Pussy. Hi, to Professor Oak for me." Two. Okay, why not? I will do that. I will do that, man. And we don't have the running shoes yet, so we have to walk. That's okay. That's all good. Oh, is there a berry over here, actually? Because, like, the, if you see a dark spot, like, um, in the grass, you know it's a berry. It kind of sticks out, so you won't really miss it. There's a lot of, there's quite some amount of berries in this game, too, actually. If I remember from, like, I played through that, I did on my tablet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, and I'm just gonna hop over the ledges to avoid the tall grass. Like, except for like at the very end right here, you have to go through this tall grass. Which I, no, like, whenever I'm walking back, I never really run into a Pokemon even going through that grass. When just continue like walking, you know? I don't know. Let's go back into the lab then, I guess. Let's talk to Professor Roke. Nice. Oh, Steven, how's my own Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. Cool. You must be a talented. You must be a talented. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. Let's say you have something for me. We deliver Oak Parcel or Parcel. I guess a Parcel. Okay, sorry for that interruption, but yeah, we're back. Okay. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order. Thank you. Gramps says Matt. Okay. He just calls him Gramps. I guess like not, why not Grandpa? I just I guess it's choice for Grandpa still, but you know, it's whatever. Okay, I almost forgot. What did you call me for? I um, mean, he must have a cell phone or something. Jeez. Cause I don't have a cell phone in this game. <laughs> okay, alright, alright, I have a quest for you two. On the desk here, there, there is my invention, the Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Steve, so Matt, take these with you. Yeah, we received a Pokedex from Professor Oak. Yay. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must capture them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching more Pokemon. We get five Pokeballs, which is really nice. We put them in the Pokeballs pocket, okay. When a Pokemon when a love Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can't escape, you have to be lucky. And some of it is based on luck, you know. 
which is nice. But sometimes you can have bad luck with that kind of stuff. To make a complete guide of all the Pokemon in the world, that's my dream. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So now I want you to I want you two to fill my dream for me. Keep moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. Steven, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I won't be catching all the Pokemon, so yes, he's right about that. But I still want to try and do my part, you know? You don't have to be such a jerk about it. <laughs> I know, but I'll tell Matt for my sis. I'll tell her not to let you one, Steven. Haha. <laughs> don't bother coming around my place to after this. I'm definitely going to do it now. Now that you've brought it up, I'm going to do that right now, actually. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to, um, here's Matt's house, and by the way, this mailbox says it's Steven's house. Cool. Even though, um, Matt doesn't own his house, like, he doesn't have the deed, he's not paying the bills. But same in my case, too. It just says Steven House is Matt's house, depending on who you named your characters and stuff. Okay. Grandpa asked you to run an RNG. That's why I from here. We'll take this with you. We got the town map from Daisy, which is, I guess, Matt's sister. Yeah, we'll put it in the Kiam's pocket. Cool. Okay, now I have the Pokedex. Um, basically it just shows like Pokemon you've seen a car like you said. We've seen up to Rata so far. That's not actually what I wanted to show. I actually wanted to show the town map. But there we go again with me clicking A-Man too fast or something. Town map. Okay, so we're going to be exploring this whole region. Uh, um, first city with the gym badge is actually Pewter City. That's coming up soon actually, so that's good. But we have to go all the way around Kanto to all these places. It could be fun. Yeah, so I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough guide part. In the next part, we'll take on, I think we're gonna catch our first Pokemon, I know that, and just explore and start an adventure, you know, right from here, because this is like the real beginning of it. We've got through all the backtracking stuff. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to thank you for saying goodbye, and hope to see you guys next time on my Pokemon Leaf Green redo walkthrough guide.